Hey guys, welcome to another video for Anatomy and Physiology. In this video, we're continuing our discussion with the muscular system, and we're highlighting the muscles that act on the arm. So here I have a list of all the muscles. There are nine muscles that act on the arm that cause arm movement. The last four muscles we've discussed, these are the, um, the rotator cuff, and um, I'll put a link to that video right here. And the the next set of three, the deltoid teres major and coracobrachialis, we'll discuss those in another video. This video is primarily going to focus on the pectoralis major and the latissimus dorsi. So again, these are muscles that uh, are involved in, in moving your arm. These two muscles that we're going to highlight today, these are two axial muscles. And they're called axial muscles because their point of origin is primarily on the axial skeleton. Remember, the axial skeleton is essentially your what's down in the middle of your body, your skull, your um, your spine, your and your sternum in this case. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about these muscles. We're looking at the pectoralis major first, and we're going to look at at what uh, its insertion points and and its point of uh, origin. And once we understand where it's inser where it inserts. This will help us to greater understand what its function is. So we're looking at these red pins here. There's about nine red pins that that we have here that uh, uh, points that we're going to discuss as far as the point of origin for the pectoralis major. Now there is, so anytime you, you see the word major, you know that there's most likely a minor. So this is the pectoralis major, and there's also a pectoralis minor, which is right underneath the pectoralis major. But for our purposes, again, uh, pectoralis Pectoralis minor does not is not really involved in arm movement so much as it is in uh, respiration. So pectoralis major, its point of origin, nine points of origin. Okay, so the first one is the clavicle, and then we have the manubrium, the second rib, the body of the sternum, and these are all, this is this is the lateral aspect of the sternum. And you have the third rib, the fourth rib, you have the fifth rib. And then you have the external oblique. The, you have the that's the aponeurisis of the external oblique. So they're connected to uh, your pectoralis. Your pectoralis major also has connection with your uh, obliques. And then finally the sixth rib. Now, so these are the points of origin for this muscle, and you can see that that the pectoralis major. This is a major convergence muscle because you can see here the fibers are all converging into one point. And this one point converges and connects to the humerus. And let's actually go to the humerus real quick. So we're looking here at the humerus, and this is an anterior view of the uh, humerus. I'm going to highlight this little line right here. This is the intertubercular groove. And the reason why it's called that is because this line here lies in between you know, the greater tubercle and the lesser tubercle. And this is the intertubercular uh, groove. This is the line here. So the muscle converges and it attaches itself right here on this lateral lip. Okay. So since the muscle converges there and attaches itself there, just imagine a rubber band. So you stretch out a rubber band and whenever you have a, a rubber band stretched out, you have it under tension. And what it wants to do is it wants to come, it wants to come back and contract. So let's take a look at what happens, what function this, um, this action has. So this, this is medial rotation of the arm. So when the pector, pectoralis uh, major contracts, it rotates the arm, the humerus, medially. Okay. On top of that, it also aids in. So you know, if you could imagine, if you ever gone rock climbing, and it, it aids you in giving somebody a hug, bench press, push-ups, uh, you name it. It also uh, pulls the arm in. It adducts it. Okay. It flexes, and again, as you're seeing here, it medially rotates that arm. So that's the function. Okay, so again, like a rubber band under tension, it wants to come back and it contracts and it uh, causes that motion. All right, so let's now let's take a look at the latissimus dorsi, which is right here. Let me uh, give a better view. So that's the latissimus dorsi. So let's take a look at the points of origin and insertion for this muscle. All right, so we're looking at the latissimus dorsi, and as you notice here, this is a very large muscle. Uh, attaching to the humerus and going all the way through the back into your 
uh, into your sacrum here. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, its points of origin. As you can see here, we have several. So let's kind of zoom in on this a little bit. So we have the uh, the first insertion point or or point of origin is on the T7. That's the thoracic. That's the seventh vertebrae, the th thoracic vertebrae. It goes to T8, T9, T10, and this will actually actually let me just go one by one because it'll go all the way to L L5 and the sacrum. So there's your L1, your L2. So now we're in the lower back, the lumbar, L3, L4, and then your ilium also okay so this is the ilium this is the the sharp edge of your hip bone okay of the pelvis and then again the l5 vertebrae and then also at the end attaching itself to the sacrum and then this muscle much like your pectoralis major converges and attaches itself to the humerus so going back to the humerus real quick so your latissimus dorsi will converge and attach itself to the floor of the intertubicular uh, groove here Okay, right here at the floor of it. And so let's look at the function. So as you can see here, when the latissimus dorsi contracts, it adducts the arm, it pulls it in. So this function is useful in ro rowing a boat, when you're walking, when you're bowling. So when you're bowling, when you're pulling that arm back and then forward, when you're doing pull-ups, so when you're rock climbing again. Okay, so once again, this, is, uh, this, this was a video where we were discussing the muscles acting on the arm. And this is in conjunction with the um, rotator cuff, with the shoulder muscles. I hope you found this video helpful in your studies. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, good luck in your studies.